Hello, I'm Rebecca Flaherty and today we're going to be making a fun pattern in Procreate again. We're going to be making a gingham pattern like this one. And I know you guys love free templates, so I have made a template that will help you get that gingham texture on there. This is the template in Procreate. You can find this on my freebie library. When you open it, it's going to look like this. And we are going to start working here in this folder. <laughs> it's called Start Working Here. We can hide this marker there. And then on this layer here, layer one in our Start Working Here folder, I'm just going to fill that with a colour. Let's go with this nice pink here. Then I'm going to tap to transform, tap on this node, and I'm going to unconstrain the ratio. So I'm going to tap on that little chain that will go grey. And then for the width, we're going to type in 900 pixels. The height will leave at 3600. And then we want to centre this on the canvas. So you need to make sure you've got snapping and magnetics on. And just we're going to centre that on the canvas until we have those orange lines there. Then we're going to duplicate that and snap the middle point to the edge of the canvas. So bring that over there and snap that into place. Duplicate that bottom one again and bring it over there and snap it into place there. Then we can pinch all three of these layers together, duplicate them, tap to transform and we're going to rotate them 90 degrees. Then we can pinch those two together again and that is pretty much all that we need to do apart from changing a few colours and turning some layers on. So the first layer we're going to turn on is this one up here. It's called Colour Burn 50% and this should be filled with your base colour. As you can see it is 50% at the moment but if I fill this layer again the opacity is going to jump back up to 100 so anytime you change the colour by filling it you'll need to bring that back down to 50%. And you'll see that gives like a darker colour where these two colours are both mixing. And then the next job is to turn on this layer underneath. This should be filled with your background colour. My background colour is white and I'm going to keep it white so this layer can be left white. And that will have the effect of reducing the intensity of these colours where if this was real gingham you'd have like some white threads mixing in with there. So you've got these parts where it's going to be more intense where you'd have like just pink threads there. These ones is where you've just got white threads there and these ones are where you've got pink and white threads. There's one optional layer which you can turn on so that these ones have the same sort of texture as the rest and that's just a very faint layer of black at 1%. So this layer is optional if you do or don't want that. I think I'm going to have it turned off for this one. When you make the pattern smaller it will look more and more like grey and less bright but if you wanted to use the pattern at a larger scale then you might want that texture to match up. I'm going to leave it turned off because I'm going to make it a lot smaller. So that is our pattern tile all finished. I told you it was easy, all you've got to do is fill that layer and then turn the rest on and fill them with your colours. To make it look more like gingham though because it doesn't really at this scale what we need to do is make it a bit smaller. So if you were uploading this to Spoonflower you would upload this tile and then reduce the scale of that on Spoonflower until it looks more the scale of gingham because in real life this is 12 inches wide you wouldn't just wouldn't have a gingham that big you'd have it a lot smaller. So let's reduce the scale of this on Procreate so we can have a preview of that. I'm gonna swipe down with three fingers to copy all and then I'm gonna swipe down again with three fingers and paste. So turned off all the other layers so that it's not trying to snap to those. I'm going to tap to transform, drag this up to the middle there until that says 1800 pixels. Then we can duplicate, snap it over to this side, zoom in there just to make sure that you've got no bits that aren't lined up properly. You can pinch those two together, duplicate and drag that down. Pinch those two together and then we're probably going to reduce this in size like maybe two more times. So let's tap to transform and then repeat that again just duplicating it into each of the corners and you'll see the more that we zoom out on this pattern and put it in a smaller scale the more this looks like exactly like a gingham pattern should look so just one more time I think and then just bring that down there and it's always worth zooming right in and making sure that's still looking okay, which it is. So that is how to make a really easy gingham pattern on Procreate using this free template. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you're excited to have a go at this yourself. You can find the template on my freebie library on my website. The link for that is in the description. If you share your patterns on Instagram, don't forget to tag me at Becky Flaherty because I love seeing them. 
If you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube for pattern tutorials like this every week. You can see more of my art on Instagram. And if you want to see more in-depth courses from me, you can find those over on Skillshare. If you're not already on Skillshare, sign up with the link below and you'll get 30 days for free. Have fun, stay creative, and I will see you next time. Thank you.